So, good morning, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this so funny for you? Because you don't know who you're talking to. <laughs> good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening. Just hi and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Yes. My name is Kwame, and this is... Elaine. Yes. It's and good to have you again. We are husband and wife. Maybe good to mention it. <laughs> okay. Um, well, for us it's morning, that's why I said good morning. Yeah. So it's good there's no smell because I still have coffee bread. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So much information out there today. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. we are back with a new video. As you know, I'm a writer, so I write everything down. So we'll dive into that very quickly. Because uh, last time we did things men wish... Women knew about knew them. Knew about them. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but of course, hello, we also have to do it the other way around. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's why I gathered some notes uh, and we take it from there. Mm -hmm. uh, and we also had quite a bit of discussions amongst us ourselves because... Um, I mean, we played around with the gender roles last time, like men wish... Wanting new, this. Yes, and, yeah. exactly. Um, but ultimately, we, we are aware that not everybody fits into those boxes of... A stereotype because that's what we're doing it is a stereotype yeah what men want and what men, women yeah want. It's, it's just very yeah. binary yeah. and we know that not and every limiting limiting as well yeah uh, we are very aware that not everybody like aligns with those gender stereotypes and we also believe that men and women have female and masculine energy so yeah. it's not to put anybody into a box it's more to Play around with it, see what you, where you can relate to, and take it from there. Yeah. Um, we find it extra important to stress this because, especially now in Ghana, there's a bill that's going to be passed, or they want to pass. They it. want to pass it. Hasn't been passed yet. Yes, yeah. that is uh, limiting or criminalizing um, LGBTQI plus um, people, and not only they but also their allies. So. Yeah. Even if you would share something on social media about their rights, then you could be criminalized. Yeah, basically infringing of, on, on uh, basic human rights of those people. Yes. And the funny thing is, a lot of people haven't even gone through the proposed bill very well. But there are some elements in there that also criminalize or yeah, put certain activities of even normal, quote unquote, um, heterosexual activities into the criminalization margin which yeah. it just doesn't make sense in total yeah. everything about the bill so so uh, that got us also talking about what would this mean because it also limits freedom of expression um, they're not allowed to gather into organizations anymore so it's quite um, problematic yeah. um, so we will that's why we got talking about gender stereotypes and you know this whole discussion we had over this week so that's why i wanted to also share this that this is going on we'll link to some news uh, articles in the description, description yeah so you can form your own opinion we are not here to start this discussion but we do want to point out that that's currently happening in ghana and it's something that also uh, we discussed at home and something that's yeah we want to share with sense. you guys as well yeah. so just basically letting you know that the, the, this video is not um, putting both or doing a gender role thing where it's limiting to only heterosexuals, what yeah. men want, what women want. So Yeah, so you can also look at it as uh, what I want more from my partner. And no yeah. matter the gender yeah. or how you define yourself or what you identify yeah. with, whether it's female, male, non-binary, yeah. whatever you Whatever it. you want, yeah, whatever <laughs> you demand from your partner, yes. that's... Um, if you can relate to any of the things that, yes. well, yeah. we're doing the reverse. So Elaine is going to actually read out some of the things yeah. and then we're going to react to it. So yeah. if so you haven't seen the first yeah. video as well, you can check out the first video and yeah. we're going to do today's film now. Up here, up and there. Yeah. Um, so I tried to look for exactly the same article online. So things that women wish men knew, that is not there. And it often was very... 
on a sexual thing. So apparently the wishes of women are immediately sexualized, which is also problematic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah. just a side note in my research. But then luckily I found some on uh, a BuzzFeed article. It's also in the description uh, about small gestures that women wish men did more. So I picked a few and then uh, I will talk on it as well. Yeah. Uh, the first one, it hit home right away. Oh, sorry, <laughs> microphone. So putting your phone away um, while you're doing activity together, it shows that you're focused on me and the conversation and the activity. It's the ultimate sign of effort. Speaking of which, I don't know where my phone is. That's good. <laughs> it's like the ultimate sign of effort for a YouTube channel. Yeah. So... Yeah, do, do I do I? Yeah, I do that often. Yeah. Yeah. So for me, uh, well, this also relates to what kind of love language you have. So for me, my love language is quality time. So spending time either with you or my friends or my family, I want you to be present. I want us to have adventures, like be in the moment. Yeah. Uh, of course, the phone is always there. Um, but I, for example, I don't look at my phone when I'm with my friends. Um, and I remember that I used to have a big problem with that because when, before we started dating, um, she would go out with her friends and she is like 200% present in the moment and doing stuff with your friends and you would text her. And from where I was coming from was, what if there's an emergency that you react to late? Mm -hmm. I don't say look on your phone all the time, but... I yeah. mean, do check from time to time. It's, it's okay to check from time to time. Yeah, but now you're moving away from the initial <laughs> feedback is that when we're doing something, it's nice if your phone is out of the room. And especially with you, because a lot of your interactions are on social media. I mean, your work is on social media. So yeah. your work is social media. So I know it's difficult for you to uh, disconnect from it. And yeah. Yeah, but I guess present. you already know because you're not giving any counter. <laughs> yep, <laughs> I'm not even going to know. All right, let's move to two before you get too uncomfortable. Oh, no, no, I'm fine. Oh. I mean, it's the truth. If it's the truth, what am I going to do? No, I'm not going to do anything about it. I'm just going to admit and um, work on it. Yeah, I think yeah. you do. I do ask, like, can we have a phone with dinner or... Some quality Can you time put, uh, together, phone away? or sometimes I ask like, "What's happening on your phone?" So I understand that if it's something like work, I can back off. But if it's not work, I'm like, "Can you put it down?" Hi. Let's see. Yeah. I'm here. Okay, number two. It's not number two because there were many more, but the one I selected. Uh, sometimes I need guys to just be listeners and not fixers. When I have a problem. My husband, okay, so the lady had a husband. My husband always wants to go into fixing mode, but sometimes the fix is sitting with me, holding me or letting me cry it out. Yeah, that's <laughs> very applicable. Yes. <laughs> and, and in my defense, when I see my partner in, in, in the situation that they're in, like instinctively, what kicks in is to try and help them not feel sad or terrible or, you know, find solutions immediately, you know. So it doesn't always click to me that sometimes you just want to be listened to and not, it, it just doesn't feel okay not doing anything about it. Yeah, but I think that's where uh, your perception is different because sometimes listening to it, because sometimes, I mean, I'm capable to find my own solutions, but sometimes my feelings are so all, all over the place yeah. that that has to be expressed first before I can move on to like, okay, this is how I can fix it. And I see that you want, that you're caring, that you want to provide a solution, but sometimes you need to process the feelings that it triggers. So yeah. I think recently we had one where I came from work, I had a long day, we had an event and something, there was something with a colleague and I couldn't really put my finger on it and I felt like I had done something wrong or I didn't act accordingly. And I was just so sad about it, but I was also tired. So because I was tired, it made me cry, but... And you, I don't like seeing that. I immediately so the problem to was trying to fix it. Yeah. 
like oh no but you can do it like this and this and this and that and that just overwhelmed me like no i can't do anything now i'm just sad i need to take a break i need to breathe yeah um and then i also tried to tell him like sorry i can't process this right now so sorry so yeah. i see your intention but i need to fix it fix it i need to breathe first yeah let it manifest and then you, you can go forward from yeah there. but that's also sometimes difficult i can understand yeah it is yeah. most difficult. and also when to do what because maybe at some point i want a solution and then he's listening and he's just and, like and aha. so yes and sometimes you, you 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 do that like um you say that can you say something or like, yeah or what do you think and then oh okay so now you're allowed to or yeah. not allowed but now so like, how, do we, how do we make a distinction then it's difficult it differs per situation so how, how how do you are you gonna tell me the situation that you need something I all think the time we're already doing this a little bit yeah yeah so yeah <laughs> learning never stops okay uh number three when you compliment a woman instead of complimenting her looks so something physical give her a compliment about a part of her personality this goes further than you think yeah yeah because how I look is just temporary. I know, but I think I think I, I do well on the on the complimenting side, yeah. not just like physical look. I do tell you how um, kind you are, or how um, actually really smart and like quick yeah. thinking on your feet, and how you support. So I do compliment you on yeah. those things. It's not just. It's nice because yeah. so especially with skills that. I mean, these are my skills, so I know I have them, but they're not extraordinary for me. But they are extraordinary to yeah, me because, because it affects me in the way you... And you are experiencing it. Yes. So it's so. nice when it's pointed out. Yeah. And it's also... Yeah. I think for me also the biggest compliment is when I make you laugh. Yeah. <laughs> it's like my hobby. Yeah. <laughs> And it's funny because also, I mean, we speak English together because obviously you can't do Dutch and I can't. She's going to say that she's very funny in Dutch. Yes. <laughs> I am. Oh, my pa paper fell. I'll I'm going to go get it. I'm going to get it. <laughs> but just for the sake of document, I am more funny in Dutch because I mean that, you know how humor comes to very subtle things. Yeah. I can, I see that a lot in tree how people are making fun in Chi is so different than in English. Yeah. Uh, even the tonation, the timing. And I think, I think, yeah, timing, I think I'm also funnier in Chi. That's what you also said. Yeah, I think I'm also So actually, in we're not, I mean, we're laughing a lot, but this could be much more. Yeah. We really master each other's language. But that's a topic for another YouTube video. Um, yes, number four, random little gifts, like your favorite candy bar, something small like your favorite candy bar, flowers, they can go a long way. Yeah. Flowers. <laughs> but it's funny because last, in the other video, guys also said this. Yeah. Yeah. But I couldn't generally relate. But you do like, yeah, okay, you're not a gift person. No. But uh, because of the last video, uh, so I think one of the guys mentioned uh, coffee in your favorite mug. <laughs> Yeah, one of the guys, uh, I mean, the comments of the things that um, men wish women knew. And I was like, mm, no. But then on a Saturday or Sunday, I don't remember when, uh, I taught him how to do my coffee, coffee yeah. <laughs> in the morning. So I had to ask for it, but at least I got a coffee in my favorite mug. Yeah. So the reverse actually works for you. Like what the guy said actually was more in relation to you. Yeah. I mean, the little things like, you know, a pat on the back or a coffee in my favorite mug makes me know that it's going to be a good day. Yeah. And I was just like, nah, I just want to go to work. Yeah, <laughs> so that's I couldn't true. Relate. But I also think uh, for me, small little things is also like uh, buying things we need in the house. So, for example, now we need sponges or anything, like you just buy it or you just already bought it, it before yeah. I thought about even it. thought of it. Or, or replacing I, the soap when you finish bathing <laughs> and the soap finishes. Yeah, that I cannot stand if you don't. <laughs> so then he finishes the soap and then I'm going into the shower. But I, I mean, when you get into the shower, you're not checking if everything is there. At least I'm not doing that. And then I am already in the shower and then I want to grab soap, but there's nothing there. Yeah. And I'm just like, 
because I have to towel all and yeah. get into the kitchen. It's it's a mess because things get wet and it's not nice. Oh, things um, get wet. Okay. <laughs> 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 See, you're sexualizing everything. No! <laughs> what do you mean um, everything? This is literally I, the only joke done. you walked into. I wasn't done. Yeah, well, you walked into the joke. How am I sexualizing everything? <laughs> that people... Anyway, go on, go on. I have their... Uh, and one I also really uh, enjoy is when I get home from work after a long day and I'm already like, what are we going to eat? <laughs> Uh, I don't feel like cooking and then uh, this doesn't happen often but it does happen sometimes then uh, he uh, already started cooking because that gives me so much <sighs> space well, to breathe for, yeah most for the most yeah. part I'd probably already you go to the office on specific days and the days when you do go to the office and I know that this, this might be the situation I often try and put something together before you come yeah yeah. yeah, but that really helps. I, I feel, um, if I look for the women around me, that we're always walking around with the grocery list, or at least I am. And I also look a lot in the fridge of what do we still have. You know, you have this meme when you open the door, you only see... To see that, yeah. Uh, As if something will change. Yeah, like you only see stuff and you're like, what am I going to... I think women take a lot of mental space. Or I don't know, maybe also men, but... For me, what I see with my friends is in the household, often women keep track of what is there, what is not there. So it takes up a lot of space. Sometimes I'm even wondering what I could do, what else I could do with that space, because it's quite a big amount of my time thinking yeah. about what, what to eat next. Uh, I'm also a foodie, so that also, uh, I don't function if I don't eat. So that's why it's also a, a priority for me. Um, but that helps when there's a gesture in that process. So like he picked already some things up or um, he's already cooking or he's like, let's just order because we have a lot of discussions about it. Like, I'm like, oh, I want to cook. And you're like, uh, no, you're too tired. So don't do that. So those are also little gestures that are maybe look more practical, but I can still really appreciate it. Yeah. Well, um, last but not least. Uh, introduce me to people immediately. If he knows them, it's always, hi, this is Elaine, um, my wife, my mm. wife and I. <laughs> yeah. uh, or if we're both new to somebody like, hi, I'm Kwame, this is Elaine. Um, yeah, I can relate to this one because <laughs> you know a lot of people. So uh, anywhere we go, I'm not I don't know a lot of people. Okay, but you have to understand that. Okay, 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 you, yeah. Compared to me, <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I'm relatively new in Accra. Um, you have yeah. worked in media, and uh, people know you from and, even and, if okay. you don't know them. <clears throat> okay. So anywhere we go, we at least run into one person or two that know him or he knows them, and then he runs off and he's like, "I'm going to." S see my friend and it, he always is my friend acquaintance friend whatever yeah. I, I mean it's it's difficult to actually i think that's one conversation we should have, um, have you know using that term okay but that's maybe drifting a bit yeah. away so it's nice when he makes me part of the conversation and uh even though i probably won't say much Anyway, it's nice that oh, you're I you're introduced and yeah, yeah included and um, whether you or not you want to com like yeah. contribute in a conversation. That's yeah, you don't stand there like the statue. I'm just there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I think that's very nice. Um, it's important. Yeah. Otherwise, you just leave the other person hanging. Like, I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> what to do? <laughs> um. So those those were on my list. I think I forgot. Two things. So I think about the compliments. It's nice when you compliment on the look, but I think what a lot of men don't understand is that we don't dress up for you. Yeah, we mentioned <laughs> we that. We dress in up for video, ourselves. Especially with the makeup and stuff. I dress up because I want to feel good or I feel a certain way and I want to express that. Yeah. I don't dress up for you. So when you compliment, I acknowledge that you. Uh, 
received the look or you you've seen it and you appreciate it that's fine so it's like a cherry on top but i already have bought the whole cake for myself like i dressed up for myself yeah. so that's a nice one and um i think with the little gestures so what we what the main difference now there are a lot of difference between men and women but for women every month we go through our cycle and I think what sometimes men underestimate, or at least maybe other bodies than women bodies, is that half of the time, half of the month, at least for myself, I don't feel like myself. Because my cycle is at a point that I either feel super tired, I, I feel very stressed, I feel overwhelmed, all these things. So... I know people, especially men, joke about, oh, periods, is, you, is it your periods? Why are you cranky? But it does have a huge effect. Do I do that? No. Oh. Good, because I would kill you. <laughs> but can you imagine that every month, half of the month, because before it starts, you're already affected by it, your own body is betraying you. You feel tired for no reason. You feel overwhelmed you feel cranky like it's a lot and yeah. i know that in like the society there's not much space for women to talk about it but it is something that is very <sighs> devastating sometimes because you're like oh i want to do this and this and this and my body won't allow it sometimes it feels like your own body is betraying you and that's half of the month all the time all the time yeah. so sometimes I'm really jealous of him because he can get so much done without those obstacles that are there and I love my body I love what it can do all these things don't get me wrong but sometimes I'm just so jealous that you have this all this capacity and it's not blocked by a monthly thing that comes back every month and every month you never know what to expect and you have to take a step back or you have to change things and Yes, it makes us strong because we're dealing with pain on a regular basis and all these things. We, we, we know how to listen to our bodies because we have to. But oh, sometimes it's so tiring. So in the little gestures, it's also nice that a partner keeps that in mind. Like, okay, she's acting a bit like on the edge. Maybe her body is not <laughs> doing what she wants it to do. Mm -hmm. And then that's enough. Yeah, so that was the last little thing. <laughs> Not little thing. <laughs> that was a little. I don't, I'm just looking at you like, whoa. Yeah, because okay. it's a struggle for me. It's yeah, I know, I know, I know, babe. I'm not, I'm not like um, belittling it. So I'm, I'm also curious if, not only about this topic, but about all the things I said, if women can relate to this or not at all. I'm, I'm very curious, and also maybe how partners deal with a few of these things, um, because we are different, but doesn't mean it needs it's a no-go area we are we have our differences and we try to find a way yeah um yeah that's about it okay so as you guys um <laughs> how do you feel that's a lot of like the, um i like that you, you you're speaking a lot and i agree yeah, because it's about me yeah i know <laughs> And, and, and I'm happy. I'm happy about it. I was just looking at you go on about like, and it's nice, nice to listen to. Okay. Yeah. Did so. you learn something or you already knew everything? Um, I don't, you don't know everything. No. But most of the stuff we're familiar with. Yeah, we talk about things a lot. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you guys, if you like this video, that's how you do it. Okay. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button. Um, we're going to be bringing you much more videos together as and when we can. Um, yeah. So that's, that's basically it. My name is Kwame again, and this is Elaine. And uh, yeah. We'll see you next time. We'll catch you in the next video. All right. Bye. Yeah. You now know my wife is a talkative. <laughs> <laughs> I told you it would last more than half an hour.